Hi guys, back again with another video. Uh, welcome to the Lawful Outlaws YouTube channel. We are part of the JTJU Nation and uh, our kind of a motto that I've adopted is a quote by Vince Lombardi, winning isn't everything, but wanting to win is. So let's get on with the, the video I'm making here. It's basically a uh, review of an attack starting with the strategy that I made with the sketch program took a picture of the base that we are in war with I used sketch to draw out an attack strategy and uh, I give the army that's needed to build for this base and then I give the plan, I draw out with the T's where I think the possible Teslas are in the, ba in the base. The X's are possible giant bombs. So we've got spaces here and here, also here, here and here for all these giant bomb spots. Uh, and then, uh, found out after we started the war that the the team we're facing and up against they have no troops in their clan castle so i was able to to tweak the the army composition a little bit because of that since i knew i did not need to have three hogs to trigger the clan castle and by the way, the reason I drew this up as three hogs to trigger, even though the clan castle is so easily triggerable, putting three hogs in there is not too much troops to use to get the clan castle out. And while you're triggering with the three hogs, those three hogs should be able to take out this cannon right here before they die. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. You're making less that you're going to have to kill later when you send in your attack force. And then um, you're also triggering the clan castle. So the plan was originally to trigger with three hogs and then drag the clan castle out to this corner. When they get out to about here, you want to drop your clan castle here. And the CC-21 is the slang we use. That's part of JTJ U slang. A CC-21 means two max witches and one barbarian. You want the barbarian there, and then you want to have two barbs in your army, and you want to front your witches with the clan castle barb and your two barbs. So the barbs are out front here facing the clan castle. And then your two witches come in here behind it. And then they start spawning up skeletons, which all dash to the front here. And they will distract the heck out of the clan castle troops. And they'll be shooting at the clan castle troops. And then you take a couple of wizards, two wizards, out of your inventory that's up here. And then you flank the clan castle troops on the sides. So when they are busy, the clan castle's busy trying to attack these skeletons that are doing nothing, basically, your high damage wizards on the side can kill the clan castle troops very quickly. Then the plan would have been to let your witches come in here and bring the rest of your wizards in out here where your clan castle troop is beaten. And then you'd go on with the rest of the attack where... Half of your hogs would, uh, would come in over here in this direction. And half of your hogs over here in this direction. And then I had you placing your heal spells to cover fighting in through the, through the mid in the town hall. Plus to handle these Teslas that I figured were here. And this one here was in case the balloon. Let me back up that a minute. The uh, before you release your hogs, you had w two balloons. One balloon was to come in from this side 
and snipe out this cannon so your hogs don't want a path in that direction. The other balloon is to come in here and snipe this cannon out so your hogs don't path in that direction. And by doing that, you're avoiding these giant bombs, and in this case, a double giant bomb location. And double giant bombs are a hog killer. Pretty much no matter what level you have, they're going to do some damage to a majority of your hogs. So, you snipe out those two cannons, and that makes your pathing of the hogs a lot easier. After that, then you bring in half your hogs over here, and half of the hogs over here. Now, since we had scouted out the base right at the beginning of the war, we knew none of their bases had clan castle troops, so I was able to alter my uh, army a little bit, so I knew I didn't need the barbs. And I actually added another balloon, and I can't remember what else I added, maybe a hog and another wizard, something like that. But anyway, let's go and look at the attack and see how that plays out. And of course, my uh, game has to refresh because I was off the game for so long. So give me time here to load the game. And then we will go into the battle and take a look at how the battle actually played out. So, what we'll do here is, like I said, I knew, let me get rid of my markings, I knew that the clan castle had nothing in it, so I didn't need those troops to uh, drag out here and kill the clan castle. So, I put hogs in my clan castle to give me some extra hogs. I think I made one or two extra hogs from what I had on my diagram. Maybe an extra wizard here, and since I didn't need barbs and I had a couple of spaces left, I made one extra balloon, and, I, and then I filled out the rest of it with three archers. So, let's play this out and see how the attack plays out. So, I had the extra balloon. I used two balloons to snipe this cannon over here. Use one balloon to snipe out this cannon. Then the next thing you're going to see is I'm going to bring half of my hogs in because those cannons are down. I bring my king out to distract this cannon here. And then I back my wizards up that I have, which would have been coming out with the clan castle if there would have been clan castle troops to kill. So then I bring my hogs, half of them in over here on this side. And then I'm going to bring my clan castle hogs and the other half of my inventory hogs in on this side. So let's pause it here a second. Uh, I drop this heel just in case a hog would have got out too wide out here and triggered one of these bombs. But I didn't actually trigger the bomb. But they're getting close to the mid. And you'll notice some of these Teslas are popping up now. So... Uh, we want to we want to keep our hogs healed. Now these hogs are uh, they're still not into the mid yet. They're just starting to take fire from the from the Tesla. So I've got to heal out here to help these and get them through. And see, this is where the double bombs were out here. So let's pause that again. The double bombs was actually here. And here but I had a heel in place to help me through the first bomb and then I dropped this other heel here to help heal the hogs that had come from the archer tower to get through the Tesla that was here and it helped with this other giant bomb that popped up now I had scouted it as this being a a, uh, a Tesla here and the Tesla wasn't there the Tesla was here and then we'll continue to play out and show you where everything else is. Now you see my third heal spell comes out here and gets the, the majority of the hogs that I have left. Now all the defenses 
are pretty much down except for this last Tesla that they had in the corner. Now, why it was stuck in the corner, I do not know, but that's the way they had it. Uh, you'll see my king and wizard and a couple of the barbs from when I used the king ability are following the king around the outside of the base. One of the other wizard, a couple of other wizards are taking out the town hall with an archer. And I've still got a large number of hogs left. They're going around cleaning up the base. So, you see how the actual attack played through compared to the way I drew out the plan. Now, my heal spells were placed slightly different than, than what I have them drawn out here due to the fact of the where things popped up. You know, the Teslas where they popped up and where the double giant bombs ended, to be, ended up being and the health of my hogs. So, there was the original plan and you saw what the, the actual attack looked like. And I will play it through again without pausing and maybe speed it up a little bit so you can see exactly how it all played out. It's first the sniping of the, of the two cannons, the king to distract some of these ground forces it, you see the mortar starts firing on the ground troops the cannon fires on the ground troops that means the hogs are going to come in untouched so they dive into the archer tower in and kill a tesla here tesla in this corner i have a heal to get through the giant bomb another heal for that giant bomb uh the heal here at the end and the tesla pops up over in the corner so they go to take out that last tesla and that's the way it played out almost picture perfect to the plan that was drawn up so there you have the way I think when I scout a base and draw out a plan and then the execution of the plan if it's done the way the plan shows how you can actually three star the base so I will uh take off for now and uh, catch you guys later. Gonna give you an opportunity to, to say hi, those of you that might be be here in game now and have a chance to say hello. And it's not really looking like anybody's on right now, so <laughs> I guess nobody will say hello. We'll go back. And uh, pretty much sign off for now. I just wanted to show you the thinking of an attack strategy and then the execution of attack strategy and how that can lead to a three-starring of a war base. So there you have it. That's it for now, guys. Keep on trucking, upgrading, raiding, getting that loot. And let's win some wars. But remember, winning isn't everything, but wanting to win is. Have a good one, guys. Clash on.